<laughs> this is Caitlin Lambert. A couple of years ago, her severe epilepsy meant she was having almost continuous seizures, which damaged her brain. But her family says she's improved dramatically since they started giving her medicinal cannabis. Her hospital admissions have gone down by 83 per cent um, and her seizures have reduced greatly. Caitlin Lambert will feature in a full-page ad in a major metropolitan newspaper tomorrow, asking the Prime Minister and State Premiers to make it legal for her to eat cannabis extract. Hi, my name is Marie and I'm terminally ill. Oh, it's the sorry, start of a new campaign inviting people who use medicinal cannabis to share their stories. Then we're going to invite the Prime Minister, the Health Ministers, the Premiers, their Health Ministers, to a meeting where they can meet not only the Caitlin's of the world, but other people who take it for a whole range of things. Patient advocates have joined forces to work on the new campaign. Oh, Lucy, how are you going? Oh, I'm great. Lucy how Haslam, you? whose son yeah, died yeah, from cancer, you. says Thanks. medicinal Thanks. cannabis legislation that came into effect last year is not working. Failure to consult, I think, is the biggest mistake that the government made, and I think it's why we're in the situation we're in now. She says the new Federal Health Minister has an opportunity to consult more broadly with international experts and not be so influenced by Australian doctors. But in the meantime, the campaigners want an amnesty on compassionate suppliers. For any young child who has had their black market supply of cannabis interrupted, um, there is the potential for a catastrophic event for one of these children and who is going to be responsible for that? That would be my question to the, the Prime Minister. It's a question that remains unanswered in a debate that is far from over. Meredith Griffiths, ABC News.